Hey y'all, I'm gonna show y'all today how to do a great steak. Um, got these, picked these up locally. I like to get a steak that's beginning to turn a little bit. There's, it's still buy on this is not till another three days out or so, but I really like a cut that's beginning to get a little grayish hue to it. Just has some good flavor to it. These are ribeyes. Got a little bit of marbling and fat on, looks pretty good. So first thing I'm gonna do is get them in my dish. Now it's midday now, and we're gonna grill these tonight. Basic season some salt, and I'm gonna do both sides. Pepper. Y'all know I like some spices. Always garlic, my basic salt, pepper, and garlic. And I actually usually have these things mixed up in a container and I gave out of that. So this is some um, Weber Chicago steak seasoning. I like this. Now, you may not like your steak quite as spicy as I do. And it's not really spicy, but it does have some great flavor to it. I'm going to add not much, but just a little bit of brown sugar to this marinade. Just a little. Kind of break it down somewhat, help with the tender. And notice I did not put holes in this. I did. Some people like to poke their meat with a fork or something. I don't like to do that because, I guess it depends on what you're cooking though, but I want to retain as much moisture as I can. There's that word I can't say. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Good old A1. And if a steak is grilled right, is marinated right, you won't need any anything on it once it comes to the table. I got a coworker that likes to put ketchup on her steak. Ugh, couldn't do it. Okay, so marinate. Turn this flip over a little bit. There's also another sauce that I use sometimes called Moore's. I don't have any today, but it's pretty good. hands again. Got, I got steak sauce all over my hands now. And you can use fresh garlic. You don't have to use the powder. Now like I say, it's midday. We're going to grill these tonight. It just happens to be our 33rd wedding anniversary. We're not going out. We're staying in with a little steak and salad and sweet potato and a glass of red wine. So that's our menu for tonight. And Michael's going to show you how to grill these later. And if y'all have watched his video already on how to grill the perfect pork chops, which were fabulous, by the way, then you will already know how to go ahead and get your grill prepped. Oops. All right, so I'm going to cover these steaks up, put them back in the fridge, and they're going to sit this afternoon. Probably been a little bit better if I'd done this last night and let them sit overnight, but... We've got a few good hours for to let them sit. Um, the only thing I would say is before you get ready to grill, take them out of the fridge and let them be at room temperature. Okay, we'll see you at the grill. Okay, y'all, here we are back at the grill now. The steaks have been marinating. Um, I don't know, maybe about six hours or so. Yep. About halfway through, we flipped them over and they've been sitting out at room temperature for the past few minutes. But I think Michael's got the grill ready. Yeah, we got the grill ready. Uh, if you remember last time, if you watched the Easy Grill Pork Chop video, if you're not familiar with prepping the grill, the grill and getting your charcoals ready with a charcoal chimney, just check that video out. That goes through the process of getting your coals ready, but we already done that part. So right now we're getting ready to put the steaks on. Now these are pretty good size ribeyes. I'm estimating about 20 minutes to cook, but depending on how hot the grill is, and it's running about 340 right now, it may not take that long. See that smoke coming up. So as you can see, they have been pretty good and marinated. They are soaked and saturated. So they're gonna cook quicker because of the marination. So we want a good hot grill so we can get a good sear on them. That way you're gonna capture the juices. It won't dry out. And plus the finished product, what we're looking for is a medium to a medium rare 
steak. Just like the pork chops, I'm not gonna turn them at one time. I'm estimating about 10 minutes on one side and 10 on the other. So we'll be back in 10 minutes to flip these bad boys. All right, y'all, we're back. We're getting ready to flip these steaks. It's been about 10 minutes. This grill's good and hot. We don't want to overcook them. Woo, they got a good char on them right there. So they're good and seared. Give them a little flip. And judging by the way they're looking, we might not leave them on but another five minutes. Might not be 10 minutes. They might be a 15 minute steak. So we'll be back shortly. All right, y'all, we're back. We're getting ready to take these steaks off. They've only been on about 15 minutes, but they're looking good. Looking good. They're big ones. Yeah, they're nice ribeyes. We're looking for a medium to a medium rare cook. So as you can see, the marination also helps it cook, but it also makes it a good presentation. Just look at the color. These steaks smell good. I wish y'all could smell them. They do smell good. So, all right, we're going to get ready and take them in the house. We're going to wrap a little foil over them, let them relax while we get the rest of the fixings ready, and then we'll be back. All right, y'all, we're back. We got these steaks off the grill. We got them on the plate. We're going to cut into them, see how they turned out. We got some little bit of red wine, some kickback porter from R&R &R Brewery, and let's get to it. These things are nice. Look at that. Little pink, not too much, a good medium cook. Just the way Deanna likes it, not too red. What about how does it taste? Oh. So tender. Is it? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, since we done said our blessing, I'm gonna cut the phone off and we're gonna eat, y'all. Let's do it. <laughs> 